My focus for this residency would be on the Bright Wells Yard development in central Farnham. I'd like to use digital technologies to integrate a number of visual and written pieces of work into a single narrative which recognises the history of this iconic Farnham site and then moves on to a reflection on what a new iteration of a bright well at the heart of Farnham could mean. I wish to explore how my passion for paint, print, photography and poetry might be combined in to make a single integrated visual artwork. One part of this might take the form of a short film, showing both the process of making and being an end product work in itself. I would like to make small painted sketches to explore how an urban environment or just a single streetscape changes and how a local ecology is impacted when a new commercial or residential development is built. I would like to use photography in particular to focus on the work of the hundreds of hands, just the hands, of those who craft, create, construct their contribution to the Brightwell's Yard development. I want to search out the material details which contribute to or detract from the felt essence of this new place. Some of these details might eventually be combined to become small lino prints. I would like to use poetry to explore the area linguistically particularly to play with the historic resonances of the name Brightwell's Yard and to reimagine some positive outcomes for a site which has been mired in controversy for over 25 years. I come to this project with a personal connection. Before my health prevented me from working, I was the education director of the Redgrave Theatre when it closed in 1998. My office was upstairs in the Grade 2 listed Brightwell House. I launched an unsuccessful rescue bid to partner with other local arts organisations and with South East Arts to reimagine the theatre's spaces as a hub for youth creativity. But I lost out to the commercial development of the site. I should declare my anger and frustration at what I see as the 20 year waste of potential in the decline, decay and destruction of the Farnham's bright well before the ground was broken by the current development. I also understand from local media that the development is still causing social, political, economic and environmental controversy I would argue that the multi-layered sensitivities around the development, both positive and negative, are precisely what could energise a multi-layered and multifaceted piece of visual art that provokes a pause moment in the hearts and minds of the people of Farnham, that gives the possibility of different ways of seeing to all those who experience the conflicting tides of historic memory and contemporary opportunity that may help all those who struggle, as I do, to articulate how it is with them in this here and this now.